Hi, I'm Daniel Lahoda, the founder of the LA Free Walls Project here in downtown Los Angeles. We've been working on this for about two years. Uh, and we've got over 80 murals by some of the top muralists in the contemporary street art movement today. All very brave um, people who are here expressing themselves despite a mural moratorium uh, and the potential of their work to be seen as illegal. This is part of Risk's Beautifully Destroyed series. So he's doing walls all around the world. Risk is one of the original um, graffiti writers from Los Angeles. He's the one who's generally credited for bringing kind of that stereotypical uh, New York wild style to LA. 30 some odd years later, this is what Risk is doing. And it's just unbelievable. He was just literally throwing quarts of high pigment Nova color at the wall, washing it down, getting these brilliant color washes on here, just layer upon layer upon layer, and then finishing that with a metal flake and over 70 gallons of um, automotive lacquer. Technically, this is the equivalent of him painting like 50 lifestyle cars. We can literally like wash and wax this wall. <laughs> so this is a crowning achievement for the LA Free Walls Project, definitely. So this is a wall by How and Nazem. The title of the piece is Heartship. It's an incredible representation of the struggle of the artist working outside in the street, pretty much anywhere in the world today. There's all kinds of like cool sim symbolism and lots of iconography. It's just an incredible, incredible piece. Believe it or not, they painted this mural in eight days, completely freehand. How and Nazem are among the top graffiti artists in the world. Their talent is absolutely unsurpassed. Their origins are as uh, train writers. That's where they learn to paint quickly and proficiently. You can see that confidence in their work. So this is an artwork by Swoon, who's a New York-based street artist who's been very active all around the world for many, many years. And she was in town doing a major installation um, for the Mocha Art in the Street show, and she put this whole thing together for us. And so this is one section here, one large section, where this is all printed out, and then it's all colored in by hand in the studio, and then she brings it from the studio out to the street um, where she'll install the piece. So the actual installation on the street is part of the creation of the artwork. One of the, one of the aspects about Swoon's work that people really enjoy is the fact that it does naturally degrade and that it really highlights the ephemeral nature of art and street art in general and really life. Her work, you know, it's, it's, it takes on the experience of life and these, um, these wrinkles and these tears in there, they're like the, you know, the paper is split much like life experience creates wisdom but also uh, is degradation. The way, the paper that she chooses, all the materials, the ink that she chooses, everything like that, it fits into the entire life cycle of the artwork. A big main part of the reason that I've settled here um, is because of the open attitude towards expression and towards having uh, public art on the walls. It's good for the artists to develop their talent in a controlled environment. It helps them with their careers because people like the work and then they're more interested in artwork that is coming out of their studio. And it helps them interact with the community and it helps them do what artists do. Uh, it helps them feed their soul. Amazing.